Hello to all of my one, two, threes. Thank you so much for being here at your spiritual liaison one, two, three channel. We're going to get into a reading for you uh, just to see what comes out for the collective sign of my Pisces. All right, and let's see what comes out. Cross watchers are always welcome here. You may be in the energy of a Pisces. You could have Pisces in some of your significant placements. And we're going to see what comes out for you, okay? These cards are so slippery. <laughs> Let's see. The first card out, Pisces, is pain. And this is the Three of Swords here. So... I kind of feel like in the past you were dealing with heartbreak. You were dealing with some sort of pain. That's that Libra energy. Um, you could, this could be a cross watcher. Maybe you're a Libra. Or you're cross watching. You're watching the videos. Or this could have come from a Libra. Also, if it wasn't with the Libra, you may just have Libra placements in your chart somewhere. That's significant. Like your moon, your rising, your Venus or something like that. Possibly even Jupiter. But um, there does seem to be a situation in the past where you were using your third eye to look at something. You saw something clearly. Now, you could have felt betrayed. You could have felt um, some sort of separation or sadness, some sort of heartbreak, uh, some sort of sorrow, whatever it was. Even confusion, alienation. Maybe you felt separated, you know, from people or a group or something. Okay, but let's see what else is coming out. Apathy. So this is this four cups is cancer energy. So I feel like you either felt rejected and isolated. Maybe you asked for numerous things to be done, or maybe you were just trying to get into something or you were asked, you may have asked for help. Maybe people were saying they were too busy to help you with certain things. They had all these other obligations. They had other things that were way more important. So I feel like in the past, you always felt like the like a, like you were not a priority. And this could have been in any area of your life. It could have been in a relationship. Uh, maybe you were with someone who they always put their family first. Or you were at a job where you had legitimate complaints or concerns about something, but it was sort of brushed off. I kind of feel like that's the past. You were in some sort of situation where you really did not feel hurt, heard. You didn't feel like your voice was heard. This could have led to heartbreak. It also, <laughs> it, and y'all have to excuse my little pinky nail. The nail fell off. I'm taking these off today anyway, so I'm not going to even try to fix it. Um, but you may have sort of even regretted asking for help from someone or even voicing your opinion. Maybe you've regretted that. Like once the words left your lips or once you... You know, um, you spoke about, because this can represent the moon energy. It's cancer energy. It also uh, uh, corresponds with your throat chakra. So how you speak. So I feel like you tried to speak up for yourself, but you kept being rejected. Or sort of, like I said, like your concerns were sort of just brushed off to the side. You know, no one took what you were saying serious. So it could have left you in an energy of stagnation. Um, you may have felt like people were focusing on the negative. That could be that could be why you felt a lot of heartbreak or betrayal. Maybe you felt harshly judged or something, or um, you could have felt like you were betrayed due to, or something like that. It has something to do with that in the past. Then you have the death card here. So this is like that. This could be maybe people didn't hear your concerns about a situation. Um, 
This has a lot to do with the heart chakra here. This is Scorpio energy. It also, this also represents the planet Pluto, which speaks of transformation or um, some sort of a generation energy. It could speak of new beginnings. It could speak of letting go of something. So I feel like you realize that when you were not being heard, your concerns weren't being heard, um, though no matter how much you voiced something, it's almost, I kind of feel like something was used against you, like your own words were used against you. In some way, the more people knew that you were concerned about something, the more they isolated you, the more that they knew you desired something, the more they made sure you did not get it uh, or put, try to put barriers in your way. So you would not get it. So you could have been asking for a job. The answer was no. You could have been asking for um, help with something. Uh, the answer was no. The, it was always, I kind of feel like there were always excuses made, but it was rooted in something that had to do with, uh, people focusing on the negative, you know, something nostalgia, because this all could also could be with nostalgia. Uh, so it's like someone focusing on the negative and due to their inability to focus on the current of who you have evolved into, they were still holding on to past actions, pay whatever it was. Maybe you said something that rubbed someone the wrong way and that was their way of getting back at you, you know, getting other people around you not to listen to your concerns in a situation. And this could have been heartbreaking because I feel like there was something you really needed help with. It almost even could have been a situation where you felt like it was a life or death situation. It could have been something that was even health related and you, your concerns were not being heard or if it was something job related it was something you know that would have provide help you provide for your family or create some sort of stability for yourself where you could pay your bills i feel like there was something there was a plan put into place not to help you or to turn you down no matter what i don't care what in what area and this could have gone it could have gone on for um three years possibly even three decades depending on your age um, there was three main people involved, though. There were definitely there was three main people who sort of put this together and planned this. So maybe you had a falling out with one and they incorporated the other two to kind of execute this plan in some way. So I feel like you felt like you had to just put an ending to trusting that people would hear your voice or they would help you in anything. You kind of decided that you were going to have to, if you wanted to have any sort of new beginning in your life or any sort of new start, you were going to have to go at something alone. This could have been sort of like an upheaval of, you may have had to up and move out of a situation because no matter how much you complained about your landlord, that went unheard. It went unaddressed. How much you complained about someone who you lived with, it went unaddressed. How much you complained. So there was something that you had to feel that you even could have changed jobs or either um, doctors or something due to whatever you there was some sort of upheaval, though. That's what I'm saying. I could, It's like you had to let something go because you had to move in another direction because you knew you were not going to get the help that you really needed if you stayed in some area of your life. Yeah, there was a lot endings, defeat. There was so much betrayal. I even get um, the energy uh, Pisces because this has something to do. Now, this can represent the sun card. This is also Gemini, Gemini energy. Again, you see no, 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 three no's here, right? You see one yes and three no's. So it's like no matter what you kept being told, no. And this was intentional. It was intentionally, you know, it was backstabbing, betrayal, enemies, you know, um, people bitching about the smallest little thing, bad mouthing you due to bitterness, um, you feeling like some sort of doormat or them wanting to put you in the energy of you feeling like a doormat. Um you know, being exhausted, trying to cope your inability to cope with the reality of how people were actually doing you. And again, this is past energy because we're about to move past this with the next. We're going to move into current energy. OK, 
So this is past energy. This is something that you had to deal with in the past. But for this to come out, Pisces, I don't feel like this is completely over. With these Ten of Swords, you may be on the dealing, you may have gotten through a lot of this, but I feel like there's still reminiscences of people who haven't quite let go of how good it felt. It felt to betray you so there i feel like there's still people in either in your family in your community on some job some sort of relationship you were in who are still vibrating in this energy of wanting you to be a doormat wanting you to fail wanting to ruin things for you you know um hoping to sever and sever ties with you still in in that energy of wanting to backstab you or betray you you know still bad mouthing you bitching over the littlest thing not willing so a lot of bitterness here not willing to let some sort of past go uh this right here this card represents your root chakra and it has a lot to do with what you have you know someone could have been angry about what you have it could have been a relationship that would, you were in maybe they were upset about your spouse maybe they were upset about uh the type of job you had maybe they were upset about um it was something about what you have this could have even been something that had to do with internally you know it has something to do with it could have been someone didn't you'll be surprised people will like you for the stupidest i mean dislike you for the stupidest reason it'll be because of your body it'll be because of um people are attracted to you or maybe you get uh something easy or it's something that they felt like you get easier than what it should something was easier for you than it should have been so there was something put in place to kind of hinder you a lot it was a lot of backstabbing going on here um and so i see you had to for you to really get over this you had to kind of uproot yourself it was the only way thing you were ever going to heal from this heartbreak you knew that these people were intentionally betraying you. And I do feel like you tried to speak on it, but your voice went unheard. It was almost as if they had set something up to tell people, don't listen to this Pisces. I don't care what happens. You know, don't listen to anything they say. And that's a very dangerous place to put a human being in because then you have a lot of evil people who will step in and say, oh, I can do whatever I want. I can use my title to cover things up. I can, you know, that's a very unethical, inhumane place to put a human, another human being in. And I feel like this is exactly where you were in the past. Now, with this, this uh, Ten of Swords representing that sun energy, uh, it's like that the conscious mind, your ego, somebody felt like you had a ego. And that's what they felt like, you know, they felt like you had some sort of big ego and they wanted to tear you down. They wanted to, you know, sort of like um, possibly even humiliate you through bad mouthing and, you know, trying to just make sure, make things collapse in your life. Um, with the sun here, this could, this is, uh, even though it's Gemini, it could be a Gemini who has heavy sun, like, uh, their sun sign is a Gemini. Gemini may have been somebody who played a role in this in your past. It could, we have Libra here, Cancer here, Scorpio here. Those could be signs that are significant. Um, or it could just be where the placements are in your natal chart. You know, um, it could be where the placements are. You may have... Uh, you make you could possibly have Libra as your Saturn sign, you know, Libra and Saturn. You may have Cancer in your moon as your moon sign. You may have Scorpio in Pluto. You may have uh, Gemini as your sun sign. So it could even be your own placements. But let's get into your present energy, okay? Because that was the past energy. Damn, Pisces, some of you all went through some stuff that that's it's almost it to me it looks even illegal uh but if no one was listening to you that that's really unethical for them to put you in that kind of situation that and i kind of feel like you have people who st who felt so good about being able to get away with illegal or inhumane behavior towards you or just backstabbing and, and bad mouthing you that um they're not ready to let that kind of power go 
even if you do have some other people who have moved on, they may recognize that they did something really wrong to you. I don't feel like anyone has stepped up and said they were sorry or even admitted to anything. People, you know, people not going to admit to any illegal behavior. Um, so I don't feel like that has happened. I just kind of feel like, you know, you just you felt like you had no other choice but to uproot and move on from a situation. Now, your current energy is is dreams. Um, this is Scorpio energy. This uh, corresponds with this solar plexus chakra of I can. So you're believing in yourself in spite of what happened to you, Pisces. And that's simply amazing. Some people would have given up. You know what I'm saying? And I'm going to be honest with you. I do feel like some people did give up because that's how inhumane this was. That was the intent for you to give up. But for, for the Pisces who stuck in there, you didn't give up. And that's amazing. Your tenacity, your resilience, your, your desire to fight um, is, is unmatched, you know, and, uh, this is what people are really seeing about you. And again, I feel like in the past, unfortunately, some people gave up because this was just too much to bear. They could have been even labeled as mentally unstable or mentally ill to kind of cover up the damage that was done to them by others unfortunately, but for those who did stick in there, uh, this is where you are. You're in some sort of energy here where this is this card represents Venus energy. It's love and pleasure. So I feel like you're focused now on your options that you have. You actually getting yourself out of a situation once you realize you weren't going to have help or people were not listening to your concerns or they were comfortable putting you in very unhealthy, dangerous situations, um, hoping something would happen to you and and it would just be a cover up, you know? Um, so I do feel like there is energy here, Pisces, where currently you're looking at your options now, the choices that you have, um, multiple possibilities, multiple opportunities, and being now you're a little more selective about who you allow in your energy, who you allow in your life. You have a I can attitude. So you emerged from this. This has definitely changed you. It, it changed how you look at people. It changed how you interact with people currently. But it has definitely changed you. But I'm going to tell you, Pisces, I see that it changed you in some ways for the better. You know why I say that? Because you have learned how to open up your options instead of giving so much trust to people um, who could do something so unethical to you and then even possibly try to justify it. Wow, I say it. Oh my goodness. You have the sun car here. So this is a lot of positivity that's coming your way. Um, your what you sticking in there is going to pay off. Believe it or not, it is. You have the sun car here. This is that Leo energy, uh, positivity, freedom, fun, success, optimism, uh, vitality, joy, confidence, self-expression, good luck, enthusiasm, happiness, truth, openness. Also can speak of pregnancy. So I do feel like in spite of all that you had to go through, you're currently in the energy where you're looking at your options. You have wishful thinking, you're optimistic about the future, you're expressing yourself, you have a lot of good luck coming your way. Both of these cards, again, represent your uh, solar plexus chakra, and that's that you have that I can do it attitude. This is what's working for you. So I'm so glad that you did say, okay, you know what? These people are really trying to be funny. They know I'm telling the truth, but the, I feel like it took a while for you to realize, for you to understand that they were all grouping together doing this intentionally. Like you, like no matter how much you complained about something, you were labeled as, oh, they crazy. Don't listen to them. And that's a, that's a really dangerous place to put a person in. Um, if you're a woman, this could have been other women, but yet to the public, they're like, oh, sisterhood, but they were willing to do this to another woman. If you're a man, you know, this could have been other men who did this to you. And they're like, oh, this is brotherhood. But, you know, that's the image they paint to the public. But behind the scenes, they're willing to do this kind of stuff to a human being. And so, um, which which is nothing about, that's nothing like sisterhood, brotherhood. Mm -mm, that's all an act. But currently, you seem to be in the energy here um, where... 
this is Taurus energy. Now you're trying to invest into something. You're you have an I can attitude again. Here you go. The solar plexic chakra it came out three times in a row. So your solar plexic chakra is about I can. You believe in yourself even if no one else believes in you. And this energy here with the seven of pentacles, this is Taurus energy. This, uh, the planet that rules this, this Taurus energy here is Saturn. And this is about your responsibilities and discipline. And so I feel like right now you're investing, you're making investments into things that you feel like your hard work is going to pay off. So you're being disciplined at this time. You may be disciplined with your finances. You may be disciplined right now with, like I said, with your spending, your savings, um, education, uh, just certain things that you feel like it's going to pay off. But this also can speak of inheritance. It could speak of uh, cultivation. It could speak of something growing, gestation stages, nurturing things, pay, being patient to see something pay off. Um, it could speak of things coming to fruition. So whatever it is, Pisces, I, whatever this I can attitude that you're keeping and this, you know, you're not willing to give up. You don't even know how much this is paying off for. You have a lot of positivity. Your positive energy plays a huge role in this, too. And then you have the Justice card, Libra energy again. Uh, so with this, this card, this corresponds with your heart chakra, things are about to come into balance and some sort of justice is going to come to this betrayal. They, this, whatever this betrayal was, it really threw your life off balance, but there is going to be some sort of justice, some sort of karmic justice at that. So I kind of feel like the fact that you removed yourself from a situation and you know that people were deliberately trying to put you in some sort of environment where um, your voice would go unheard or your needs would not be met or, you know, this through all of this backstabbing and bad mouthing you and all this kind of, you know, behavior. There are consequences that's coming to this. Some sort of this could speak of truth. It could speak of honesty. It's, it can speak of integrity because I feel like someone like it was almost like they said that you lacked integrity and that was the reason why they tried to justify doing something to you but it really shows what they did to you they actually lack integrity so there is a karmic justice that's into play right now you may not understand some of these people are getting their karma back just in different ways their karma could be them seeing you progress regardless of what they try to do to you you know and so there will be some sort of um, agreement now. And I remember I said, I don't see an apology coming in. There may be a few people who decide to apologize for what they did. It's up to you whether you want to accept it or not. Um, they may be made to apologize just because they're being held accountable through the justice system. That may be the reason why they decide to apologize. There may be some sort of investigation being done into this level of betrayal, you know, things that happen to you. I feel like there were people who use their title to do something really unethical to you too. Um, and that is what's being talked about. This is also a card that represents Venus energy. It's Libra energy that Venus, okay, that again, that Venus energy speaks of love and pleasure. And so, um, I see that even with the betrayal, you still love yourself, Pisces. And that's an amazing, very mature, very, uh, spiritually, grown energy to be in, you know, in spite of, cause you knew some of the things that were being said about you were not true. It was just like, there was a free for all with your energy. People like, Oh, I can do whatever to Pisces and I'm not going to be held accountable. Okay. So that attracted a lot of wolves to you. And this is why you were going through so much. And it could have been in three different areas of your life, mind, body, and spirit, you know, where your mind was being attacked, like that gaslighting thing, your body, where you felt like you weren't safe in certain situations. Because of course, if people feel like if the word has gone out that, oh, you can do whatever to her or him, and we're not going to hold you accountable. We're going to take your side regardless of even if we know you're lying. We're just going to we'll cover up for you. That puts your life at risk. That puts your safety and your health at risk. Um, 
spirit. This could have been spiritually damaging to you for a while because you just did not understand why these people were given so much power or so much um yeah, power to abuse, you know, over you. And so there is, believe it or not, you all are walking miracles. I feel like that. I feel like I should say that to some of you all. You are definitely walking miracles. So hold your head high. Know that what you went through, you really did not deserve that. Um, that speaks more about the people who would betray you in that way than it does about who you are as a person. So there will be some sort of justice or karmic justice due to the con it, there will be consequences to that sort of behavior okay your future here is you're moving on from this like you're 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 deciding to not only you're moving on from the heartbreak um but you're moving on from not being able to make a decision about something sort of procrastinating and this fantasy life that people um, oh, may, I feel like there are two things you're moving on from. You're moving on from thinking that all people behave that way. There are not, there are so many, there's still so many good people in this world. And I come across them often, you know? And so, um, even though you've, even though you have people like this, you do have some good people out here. And I feel like you're seeing that. So you're not putting everybody in the same boat. And that's the beautiful thing about your energy, Pisces. You've spiritually grown in some way. This could speak of, you know, you abandoning um, the, the thought of even having some sort of rekindling of an energy. I feel like if someone apologizes to you, you're like, fine. Okay, I accept your apology. Maybe you will, maybe you won't. But I don't feel like you want to uh stick around with people that can do something like that to you you know so you may be abandoning something um you may have even planned on still trying to help something grow at a job that you're at or in an area or in a relationship maybe because you're vibrating in a better energy and you're feeling like uh they would be vibrating in a better energy but i still again i feel the remnants of some people who haven't gotten the memo that what they did is not okay and there will be consequences to this level of betrayal that you've had to go through so you will be walking away from some sort of situations and letting things go i also feel like you're going to be letting go of this heartbreak i really do i feel like you're just going to decide to let that go that's pisces energy there and this is also Saturn energy, responsibilities and discipline. So you're looking at what you need to be responsible for in this life. Um, you're looking more to your responsibilities opposed to heartbreak. It's like you're changing in some way. You don't want to really focus on the heartbreak anymore. You're very much aware of what these people did and how they are. But you also understand not everybody vibrate in that kind of energy. Not everyone had walk around with a bitter spirit or you know, that backstabbing energy, just because you say something that they don't like, they, you know, go into this whole mode of uh, strategizing and putting something in play to try to do something inhumane or um, unethical or even possibly even illegal to you, you know? Some people are way beyond that. Like their their energy don't even vibrate like that. And I feel like you're giving others a chance. Um, but you're, but this has caused you in the future to sort of go deep within and, you know, really putting limitations on how much you open up to certain people to give them that advantage over your energy, over your life, you know? You have routine here. So you're going to get into some sort of routine. And I feel like that's what you're planning that. You're getting into some sort of regular routine. You're having patience with yourself in the future. Uh, things, I feel like some sort of routine is going to work out for you. Again, we had, this is Saturn energy, both of these cards. This is the page, of, I'm sorry, the Knight of Pentacles. This is also, um, this represents Saturn energy. And this has a lot to do with your heart chakra. So you're you're planning something that's from your heart, you know, and it's right up under this sun card here. So 
it does look like there will be, you know, in the past when people rejected you, you're going to have your own tribe, you know, your own uh, cluster of people that accept you and love you at the root for who you are. Very positive energy, Pisces, but it's because you're vibrating in a positive energy. I even feel like in the past, you could have had people that said you vibrated in a negative energy and that's, they're trying to justify what they did. Um but if word went out to everyone not to listen to you, it doesn't matter. You could have, if you're constantly being ignored or mistreated or even abused in some way, um, then of course you're not going to always be vibrating in the highest energy and people know that. So, you know, they are trying to justify some sort of betrayal. There's no justification in it. And it again, there's a karmic justice coming due to some sort of consequences. So I do feel like you're getting better and you're getting into some routine with better people, people who vibrate in a positive energy, more of up your lane, you know, and things like that. Um, you're realizing you've given something a lot of time to, and you're going to be looking at it like time heals all wounds, you know? And so I do feel like you'll be a lot happier with this situation where you don't feel like, oh my goodness, I have to, you know, always, um, be in the energy where I have to constantly deal with people like that. And, you know, I feel like you're going to have a better, some sort of better, uh, your, your own little cluster of friends or a new community or something, something like that. This could just be a new relationship where you're treated better, or this may be a new job where you're treated better. You know, your concerns are heard. Uh, people aren't just brushing you off. So, cause I feel like that was the past. That's what you had to deal with. If it was medical, I feel like you'll be dealing with uh, doctors who actually, um, listen to their patients and they don't just brush things off or, you know, whatever. I feel like you're going to get into a better energy and you're going to realize time heals all wounds. This also could speak of some sort of unexpected source of money or income. This, um, this Knight of Pentacles, this can speak of that as well. And your hard work, you know, paying off in some way. And people are going to see you as trustworthy and someone who perseveres to reach their goals in life. So you'll be some sort of inspiration. And I feel like people around you are going to inspire you too. So these people from the past, I feel like you're going to realize that it's best to just leave them right where they are in the past. You have the truth here. Uh, this is the King of Swords, someone who speaks the truth. Again, Libra energy. So you may have a lot of Libra placement because you do have you have Libra here, here, and there. And so you may also have. Um, I see Leo and I see Scorpio placement too. So you may have those. Excuse me, I have strips. <laughs> On my seat. So it probably sound like I got something in my mouth. Well, I actually do. But anyway. But this speaks of you being, uh, this discipline is going to pay off some sort of investment, but it's like you had to put an end to something first. So you could have, so you could be more disciplined in your life and seeing things come into uh, fruition and your hard work paying off. And getting into some sort of routine in an intelligent way, being rational. Uh, I do see a power increase with you too. So I don't know whether you're getting like some sort of promotion. Um, you may this may be a promotion on, on the job, or you just may be in a better situation in a relationship. This could even be in your community in some way. Um, but I do see you using discernment, discernment and communicating honestly and truthfully. Um you're thinking a lot. You're thinking logically with the situation too. And this, this, uh, this King of Swords represent the third eye chakra, and it's I see. So you see the truth about things. You know that you're dealing with. That's all you're dealing with now. So people can't sit back and and tell you, oh, it was all in your head. I feel like in some areas you have actual proof, like paperwork, or you have you know, something to show there's, there's some sort of long-term behavior that was happening to show that you're speaking the truth about a situation. 
Um, but I do feel like right now you're a little more in the future. You want to be more structured and going, you know, something is going to become routine after you move on from this heartbreak and some, some sort of confusion. And then you have burden here. And so with this 10 of wands here, um, this is burden energy. This is Sagittarius energy. A Sagittarius may be significant, um, but this, it represents the planet Saturn and it corresponds with the root chakra. Um, the root chakra is like your base chakra. It has a lot to do with your sexual organs. So this could have even been someone who you were intimate with or someone who was angry about who you were intimate with. Like they could have been in a relationship with someone um, and maybe that relationship ended and the person moved on with you. And so they were just really doing a lot of deceitful stuff towards you. You have the 10 of swords here and you have the 10 of wands here and this is burden. So it was meant to, whatever they did was meant to cause you a lot of burdens. You know, you felt overburdened, overloaded with responsibilities, a lot of stress, problems, you know, weights on your shoulders. Um, but I do feel like since this is like future energy, you're going to find out who was behind this situation here. Like someone who played a role in burdening, burdening you. This may be the very person who wants to apologize. This could be the person who want to apologize. Um, but this is also obligations, you know, and some sort of uphill struggle. You know, you could feel like that you were being taken for granted in the past. And I do feel like you're being honest now about what happened. You're speak it's almost like in the future you're speaking about what happened. This may be in court that you're speaking about the burdens that were placed on you or how things affected your life, how you were taken for granted. Because I do feel like someone feels bad for taking you for granted in some areas, but then there's other people who are still by from your past who are still vibrating in that energy. Again, they haven't gotten the memo that what they are doing, um, it's just not okay. It, it just, it's not okay. It wasn't okay. It will never be okay. At the bottom of the deck here, <clears throat> You have a mirage here. So with this Ten of Cups, this is Pisces energy here. And this is that it represents that Mar the Mars planet action and energy. So overall, you will be going after what you want. You're trying to manifest what you want. You want happiness. You want that family life. You want reunions, home, things that you feel like, you know, um, this may be family gatherings, a marriage, something like that, some sort of long-term relationship, security, stability, harmony. It also speaks of abundance. It speaks of domestic bliss, um, that happily ever after situation, fun, caring for children, things like that. So I do feel like this is where you're headed, Pisces. This is what you're trying to get to. And this is the final outcome for you right now. Um, and your root chakra, I, someone could have tried to do um, some sort of black magic on your root chakra, like on your sexual organs or something. Um, so I do feel like this is going to be healed in some way. It's going to be fixed in some way. So Pisces, I'll pull a few Oracle cards. I don't want to, let me see. going to pull one for you. Great fortune. You have some sort of great fortune coming your way. You're going to be able to walk away from something. Now, you may be awarded something through the courts or something, but I also felt like you were cheated out of some great fortune in some way too. Someone wanted to keep you from it. This also may be through inheritance. False person. Yes, yeah, someone was told that you were a false person and this is why they should never give you anything. This is this was the, in your past though. And I do see with this false person, there may have been a couple that was behind this. There may have been some some sort of couple that was behind this trying to block your um your prosperity or something in life. 
but they told everyone you were a false person. And this is the reason why everyone should reject you, not listen to whatever you have to say. Sort of, you're like, you're, see how this, this person's mouth, it was a lot of whispering and backstabbing, you know, gossip going on, bad mouthing behind the scenes. I feel like this was a couple, someone who worked together to do this. Marriage here. Some of you all will be having marriage um, in your future. So you'll be dealing with more honest people, people who are who can be honest, truthful things, people who want to make investments into you. They want to invest into you and they want you to invest into them pathway. You're going to get some clarity about something. You're going to see the truth about something. Things are about to open up for you. Some sort of pathway. If you were feeling like you were in the darkness, things are about to open up for you in a good way. And at the bottom of the deck, official person. So an official person may be, um, this could be because it's, it says with the Ten of Cups, you may either be marrying an official person or you may have some sort of really good relationship with an official person in the future and then i'm just going to pull only one of these cards and then one from the other oracle tag that'll be the end of your reading pisces evil queen you deserve sugar not salt yes yeah, someone was this is someone who's really manipulative oh my goodness were you uh, you can't i don't know who you came across pisces but this is someone who's really evil. They were trying to throw so much salt your way. Very salty about something you said or whatever the way you made them feel. But instead of them dealing with it like an adult, it's like they took their own legal route, you know, and they incorporated other people in this um, to do this. And that that's just not OK. You know, they could have even used some sort of fortune to do this. But anyway, you deserve sugar. You deserve sweetness, kindness. You do not deserve that kind of stuff. But you're, I feel like you're in the energy where you know that. You see that now. You know, that's the past of what someone chose to do. They That was their, that's their natural, um, that's who they are naturally. So they could put on the fake facade like, oh, we love women. We're sisters, sisterhood. Yay. But to do this to another human being is mm -mm, that's that has nothing to do with sisterhood. If it's if it was if you're um a man and you were going through this with other men and they're to the public, they're like, oh, brotherhood, we stick together. You don't do this to another. You don't do this kind of stuff to another person. I feel like some of my Pisces didn't even make it through this. And that's so unfortunate um, because they just, it was just the pain. The betrayal was just too heavy, too deep, or they were put in a horrible situation where people knew that no one would listen. So, you know, other wolves came in and did hor horrific things and they were just passed off as crazy or being at the wrong place at the wrong time, but it was intentionally done. But I feel like for the, for the rest of us, Pisces who have been here sticking around, we're in this sort of energy now where we're getting clarity about what was happening. Um, but we're ready to move on. We're in some sort of, um, cause I am a Pisces too. We're in some sort of better energy dealing with some things. Some of you all are pregnant and some of you all will be going, you will be having marriage. You'll, uh, you've accumulated some, something in your life and pathways will be opening up for you. Doors will be opening up for you. And in the future, you'll be healing from a lot. I feel like you're already in that healing phase, though. And then I feel like you're getting into some sort of routine after moving on from this. And you're able to speak your truth and see the truth about things. You're able to see the truth about how things kind of played out and who was behind really trying to burden you. You have conjunction here, alliance. Yeah, so you will be aligning. Uh, there was some, so just like these people sort of grouped together to do this to you, to betray you on this level, um, you will have your own group moving forward. You won't even have, like, these are the kind of people who you just, you, you don't even deal with, you know? And so they chose to group together and kind of come in to make your life this way where you would feel really betrayed. I feel like they had a number of people in here bad mouthing you, like a lot of people that grouped together, you know, and it could have been because they labeled you something as being a false person or something. This even could have been rooted in your root shock or something that has to do with your sex life or your sexual organs or a baby or something. 
but there was a lot of betrayal and bad mouthing going on and people just felt like you were a doormat they could walk all over you but i feel like that uh, the present energy is that's changing even though you have some people from the past that have not changed again they haven't gotten a memo that this is not what you do um but I feel like your present energy has changed and you may be aligning yourself with really good people, people who match your energy better, people who do not vibrate in that kind of energy. And then in the future, it does look like um, you will be with people where you can be truthful and honest, but be careful about, you know, once you release these kind of people about taking on a whole new group or whole burdening yourself, you may feel so good that things have changed or gotten better in your life that you start burdening yourself with new things. So just be careful about that. That's just a, a warning. At the bottom of the deck, you have tension here. So there will be some tension due to the truth being spoken, due to you telling the truth about what happened to you. There will be some tension. And at the bottom of the deck over here was feast. Slow down and celebrate yourself. So yeah, so you will be celebrating yourself, um, being able to do some of the things that you wanted to do in the future. There was some sort of evil person, evil queen, it says, who was trying, who was very salty with you. And was even encouraging other people to throw salt your way. So it's, I almost feel like they were doing things in a very passive, aggressive way, pretending to give you salt. I mean, pretending to give you something sweet when it was like they were giving you salt. It's like, oh, here, I'll give you a job and then harass you on the job the whole time and get other people to harass you on the job until you quit, you know, with this death card. Or, oh, get in a relationship with this Pisces. Act like you really do love them only to be gaslit by that person you know or you know, just it this is what it, it all makes it just looks like there was a lot going on where someone was pretending to give you sugar when they were really giving you salt but all of this is that's the past your present is it looks like you're in a very good energy of i can i will i and you're not giving up and your future is you're being you're setting you're getting into some sort of routine um, where you're dealing with more honest type people you know these type of shady people from the past they are who they are and um, anybody who would jump on board with something like that is it's not someone you want to be around anyway but it looks like you'll be dealing with more people who after walking away from something or walking away from that leaving it behind abandoning that kind of situation because you can't change people they got to want to change you can't change them but it looks like you'll be setting into some sort of routine. But again, it says unexpected sources of money or income. This may be some of the things that you're able to work with. This could be in business. It could be in your career. And then it says truth, some sort of power, intelligence. Um, so you, some of you all are getting a promotion on your job. But make sure you're clear about what this promotion entails. Like you're not taking on, you're not becoming overburdened or overloaded with stuff, with responsibilities. Because I feel like in, for some of you all, you're going from sort of one, but like you're going from a betrayal, finally getting some sort of clarity and balance and then taking on a little too much in the future or something. So, you know, something that will stress you out. So just be careful with that. All right, Pisces, I love you all. That is the end of your reading. You know to sound off in the comment section and let me know if these readings are relatable to you. Take what applies to you, leave the rest. Cross watches the roles can be reversed. If you were dealing with a Pisces, this may be your story. Um pertaining to a Pisces and you're more than welcome to sound off in the comment section but y'all go over to my star spot channel check that out make sure that you hit that like share and subscribe button and show my channel some love I did upload a short for my Pisces for the week of January the 29th through February the 4th so please check that out as well okay all right I love you all talk with you later